Hey what's up guys, Ben here and welcome back to the Only Ackies YouTube channel. Today's video is a little rundown on the start of the season and how good it actually is for Ackies. Currently, Ackies sit 8th with 8 points and that actually puts us above Hearts, Hibs, St Johnston and St Mirren. Don't get me wrong, all those teams below us have had a poor start to the season and not one that most people would have expected. However, Hamilton have had a half decent start ourselves. We've had home wins against Kilmarnock and Livingston, a 2-2 draw we at Tynecastle, one of our bogey grounds and a stalemate nil nil as well as getting beat off Celtic Rangers and a battering at Ross County. So where have the improvements been? Well the big one is in defence. The introduction of Sam Stubbs, and I don't want this to be another video of how great Sam Stubbs is, but he has been a huge improvement to our backline. You've got the experienced Brian Easton beside him, our captain now that Daz is currently out of the team, and then finishing the back four off with Scott McMahon and Aaron McGowan. Brian Easton obviously just came back this season, but Aaron and Scott were regulars last season and they've continued their good run of form. Sam Stubbs has came in and completely improved that backline and gave us a really commanding centre half that we've Dill so desperately needed and then Brian Easton is a good experienced head sitting next to a very young backline. I think it's also helped by having Alex Gogic sit just in front of them in that defensive midfield role. Now usually that would be Daz McKinnon however Brian Rice has dropped him because he has been a bit behind the pace so far and he brings a lot of security to the centre halves. Now He's not the best on the ball, he's not the best passer, but what he does do is he has so much heart and throw himself at every possible chance, and when he needed to hoof, he will hoof. Another major improvement we can see from the team is so much fight and desire going into it. Brian Rice brought that into the end of last season when he took over, but you can tell it's completely different. It's night and day from when Martin Canning was in charge. This video was not meant to be a comparison between Brian Rice and Martin Canning. I want to get away from Martin Canning altogether on this channel. However, it is going to happen naturally compare the two managers. And it's fair to say that Brian Rice has brought a lot more belief and desire and fight to the team. Brian Rice has also continued the Hamilton mantra of introducing youth into the team. Now people like Lewis Smith have been grabbing the headlines recently but people like Ross Cunningham and Ronan Hughes are maybe going under the radar a little bit. Ross Cunningham has six goals this season, four in the cup and in pre-season and two in the Premier League and that's fantastic, that is great for a young player like that and so Lewis Smith is grabbing the headlights and I think rightly so he's probably the brightest naturally gifted talent but you can't deny Ross Cunningham is actually having a big effect on the games themselves. He's also got the balls to step up and take penalties. It's nice to see that when a, when a player's on the pitch he has the balls to step up and say no this is mine I'm taking it because I, I believe he said in his interview afterwards that he took the ball uh, off of uh, Ogunpo I believe it was he took, he took the ball off him and said no this is mine and I think that takes a lot of courage for such a young guy to do that and what would eventually go into win is the game. As much as there have been improvements, we can't deny there are a lot of the old Hamilton mantras coming into this season. The first one being how weak we are in defence. Now I've just big Alex Gogic up and he has been brilliant, but he's been partnered up alongside with uh, mostly Blair Olsen and Will Collar, but then they've been swapped out with people like Ronan Hughes. For whatever reason, we seem to really lack uh, something in midfield, and I think it's that bit of fight and grit that Daz brought to the team. Now, I'm not saying put Daz back in because he has been behind the pace for a lot of the season eh, and a lot of pre-season as well. And I think Scott Martin is the man to replace Daz. I'm not saying he will fix all their issues. He definitely won't. We're still lacking. Most fans think it's an attacking midfielder and I agree with them. We do need someone with a little bit of flair in the middle. A game changer, really. You know, we've had it in the past. Mika Miller last season, obviously our top goal scorer. Eh, David Templeton, eh, Tony Andrew. We've had these players in the past and we need to pick an Ali Crawford, sorry, of course and we need to pick them back up again. I think we need to bring somebody in like that in January. Otherwise, I think we will struggle to create a lot of chances against teams that will set up to defend. In return of what a lot of fans are naming selection bingo continues to be a real big issue and it was most plainly seen away to Rangers. Now we played Celtic not long before that and got, don't get me wrong, we lost 1-0. Uh, but from what I heard and the highlights I've seen and all the, reading all the reports, we put up a pretty strong display defensively. We barely gave them any space and they had chances, they're always going to. But we weren't embarrassed and slapped up. So I don't understand and a lot of fans don't that why why is it that when we go to Ibrox uh, away you know we set up with six defenders I, I don't understand it now I've said this in a lot of videos that when Martin Canning got it wrong we ripped into him when he got it right he got praise it has to be the same for Brian Rice when he gets it wrong we need to criticise him in the Rangers game he got wrong his selection bingo was all over the place and like I said I think that's why fans were getting so annoyed at it is it's the poor lineup but also the manner of the defeat if we went there with six defenders and lost one nil 
you know, like we were at home to Celtic, people would probably say, okay, that's fine, he kept the score down, it wasn't embarrassing, but to go over there with six defenders and then get battered is the worst outcome on both fronts, line-up and result. I, f I feel like we're also lacking a little bit of attack still. Now, it feels weird for an Aki's fan to say that, you know, with two strikers that I feel are actually all right, as well as some attacking young players around them, we're still needing something up front. I mean, George Oakley has three goals, two of them were against Hearts. Ross Cunningham second with two goals, and then Lewis Smith and Blair Olsen also have a goal apiece. And I think it's one of those ones where we just need a striker who is who is going to bang them in. And I think I probably thought Augie was going to be that guy this season where when given a chance last season, he took it mostly. He scored a worldie in pre-season despite having a really, really poor start to it. But he's done well so far. He's a, definitely a handful for defenders and everybody knows that. He's a threat in the air and he's a threat physically, but he's just not getting that final touch. He's not getting that chance. When he does when he does have the chance, he's not taking it. He missed two sitters against Hearts that would have won as the game and from the ports and highlights, he missed one against Celtic. Those ones get us points against results. I think if he gets that goal, that'll set him off, hopefully. I also think Mikael Muller would play a big part if he can get his chance this season. Reports, you know, from Alan Maitland, the chairman of Aki's, when I got a chance to interview him at the start of the season, was saying that he's homesick. And I spoke to Mikael, um, you know, when I just sort of caught him by the street, and I didn't want to mention it, but he's a huge part to the team. I really is. He was our top goal scorer last season. I think people are forgetting that. He's our top goal scorer last season with eight goals. And you're probably thinking, oh, eight goals is, is nothing. In, in, in a top league in football, but for Aki's that's a lot. Eight goals from one player, you know, and I think there was only maybe two penalties in that. He's a, he's a game changer. Once on his game, once gets consistency, he's a game changer. His confidence needs to get up, and he needs some play time. And I think if we can get Mika Miller in the team and firing all cylinders, I think he'll make a huge difference. But am I happy? Yes, I am happy with how the season started so far, and hopefully most fans are as well. If you'd have said to us, we'll be sitting eighth. Uh, at the second international break, we'd be above Hearts, Hibs, St Johnston and St Mirren. They would have been very, very happy with that. And those results included a win against Kelly, a draw away to Hearts, which is our bogey ground, and that along with St Johnston. You know, a win at home against Livingston, a draw against St Mirren. Those aren't bad results, and there have been some horrible ones in there, like the 3 now loss to Ross County and the 5 now losing to Rangers. But overall, I'm happy. With, how, with what Brian Rice is doing and with how the team is going so far. I think we've had wins against people that we probably expected to have wins against. We've picked up point, extra points, bonus points you could call them. You know, down to 10 minutes at mid and still get a point. Away to hearts and get a 2-2 draw. I'm happy with where the team is sitting in 8th with 8 points. Hopefully most fans are as well. I think if you're looking at the bigger picture, there's an improvement. Without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. I think don't, I think... Teams like the Hearts and the Hibs, they will come back. They'll have a they'll have a good end to the season, I reckon. And they, they probably will finish in the top six. They're just having a really poor start there now. So realistically, it's up for Hamilton to keep up this pace that we're going of the odd result here and there. <laughs> and picking up as many points as we can. If we can keep that going, I don't see why we can't finish in the top half of the bottom half. We're never going to sneak into the top six. I'm sorry. To sound pessimistic, but we're not gonna. We're, that's not gonna happen. That's not what Hamilton do. But to get you know seventh, eighth, ninth is definitely doable this season, and I think that's what well, would be brilliant for fans. Realistically, and I mentioned this in the what do Aki's fans expect video. We just want to be safe in the league. That's what we want. We won't want to fight relegation again. Brian Rising had a, Brian Rice had an interview recently that said he, the last thing he wants this season is a, re, is a relegation fight. So if we can stay away from those bottom two spaces, I think most Aki's fans would be over the moon with the season. And currently, that's what we're doing. I asked for some fan comments. How do you think the season's going so far? And I think uh, it's Red and White 1874 on Twitter pretty much summed up our season perfectly. It says, fighting away as usual, some good results and performances and some bad. Similarly, again, we have players who add zero and a manager who won't settle on a 4-5-1. As we was talking about consistency, we're lacking it so much. Two years we try to play two strikers and we don't have even one. The team lacks width but not fight. Hopefully we'll settle, settle and develop. If you can settle on something and settle on a team that he likes and we can get some consistency in our performances, I think we'll see a big improvement for the rest of the season. And I'm happy with where we are 
and hopefully Aki's fans are as well. But now it's time for you guys to have your say. What do you think of Aki's start to the season so far? Go ahead and leave the comment section down below. You can also go ahead and tweet me. Uh, I'll leave my link to my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and the only Aki's pages all down below if you want to jump over and let us know what you think and you might be included in the next video. Thank you very much for watching guys. Next up we have Hibs at home next week. I'm very excited for that. More fan interviews after that game as always and I hope to see you then.